morning. Uh, as director of SFS Peru, I would like to welcome you uh, to this incredible place. This is one of the world hotspots in terms of biodiversity. And not just the biodiversity, but in terms of cultural rich traditions that uh, dominate this transitional zone between the Andes and the Amazon. The, the Western Amazon, the, the headwaters of the, of the Amazon basin, um, has a, the highest number of species of pretty much every terrestrial group there is. Flowering plants, mammals, insects, birds. So, so right uh, behind us, what you see is the greatest diversity of, of terrestrial species there is in the planet. And, uh, and there is a gradient that covers 700 meters in elevation. And there are 30 kilometers of trails with uh, uh, white water rivers, waterfalls, natural ponds in the forest. There are bamboo forests, uh, primary forests, dwarf forests that uh, are responding to different kinds of soils. So there is a huge diversity of uh, landscapes and environments for students to uh, develop their research questions and, and their projects. I think I'm here because I was really attracted to this program because it allowed me to be in the field rather than a classroom and also I could combine the social aspect of my anthropology major with the uh, science base of my environmental science major. Everybody in the world definitely agrees that the Amazon rainforest is one of the most ecologically important areas in the world to conserve and I just really wanted to see it while it's still relatively pristine or more pristine as it will be in following years. I'm here because I wanted to experience um, just how biodiverse this area of the world is, being one of the most, if not the most, um, biodiverse places in the world. Um, and just to experience that is a lesson in itself. Every single day I'm generally seeing something new and just during classes I will easily see like 30 species of birds a day, and that's literally not an exaggeration. The biodiversity here is so staggering. And you look around, and you, you just look out the window, and you see all of this. It's totally different. It provides a totally different context than everything at home. You get to be immersed in what we're learning, and so we get to interact with the things we're learning about on a daily basis. Here, it's like you can read something and look up, and it, within 10 feet, there's an example of it, which is really incredible. By all means, I think this is one probably of the most exciting places to learn how to be a researcher. The gradient of elevation from the lowland Amazon all the way to the top of the mountains here provides uh, an excellent natural laboratory for uh, looking at how uh, climate change is going to affect all of these extremely rich communities of plants and animals up the slopes of the Andes. So here at Via Carmen, there's lots of ACA staff and volunteers. There's resident scientists that are doing their undergrad research and their graduate research. Um, and it's just really fun to interact with all of them. As part of our programs, the students are supposed on one hand to develop some community-related community engagement programs. And we look at constant relationships or regular relationships with the community so the community are aware of the type of work we're doing here, and at the same time, they can contribute with their own experiences to what students want to do and, and uh, obtain information for their research. So a person that is, uh, you know, likes the outdoors and have a sense of uh, exploration or a zest for exploration, that will be an excellent student uh, in this program. Uh, if you really want to work in the field, you, you really want to get field research experience, if you really want to just do anything outside, this is the program for you. Every student will have the chance to visit the great city of Cusco. It's the gateway to the start and end of the SFS Peru program. The city is a bustling center of cultural activity, a perfect place for students to attend during their mid-semester break. Close by is the World Heritage Site of Machu Picchu, perhaps the most recognized historical feature on the planet. No trip to Peru would be complete without seeing this citadel of the Incas. I think this is not just a purely academic center, 
but also it's a place where students can have fun and enjoy their stay here. <laughs> this is my pet. His name's Mustachio. He's crawling really fast. <laughs> And it's literally called the sound of the jungle, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he had it on film. I was testing it out. Jenny just broke it. Jenny broke it. <laughs> <laughs>